Church, praise the Lord. At first, when the coordinator did not call testifiers, I was a little bit disappointed. But when Daddy came and explained, I, I had this excitement again in my spirit. So I thank you, Daddy, for giving me this privilege to testify. I will be reading the book of Psalms 40, verse 5. I'll read in NIV. Just to summarize my testimony. It says, Many, Lord, many, Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you planned for us, none can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, there will be too many to declare. When I came to the church, I wanted to discover how many times my heart has beat from the day I was born to today. And I discovered if my heart was beating at a steady rate of 70 beats per minute, my heart would have beaten approximately 1 billion, 170 million, 552,000 times since I was born to today without the help of any machine. So I want to give God all the glory for helping me thus far for the air i breathe i was thinking if i was to pay if i was to subscribe for the air how much would i be able to pay so i want to return all the glory to god it is a blessing and a testimony in my life and that is why i stand today to testify i also want to thank god for my family how far he has led my family he gave my younger brother a place of a good place of placement in his ppa for his NY. So i want to return all the glory to god and lastly i want to sing this song it's a song i love so much and church, I want you to join me and sing this song. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. As thou changest not thy compassion, they feel not. As thou hast been the forever be. Oh God is great, great is thy faithfulness. Oh great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hearts provided great is thy faithfulness Lord unto me Amen All the testimonies should come to the front please Praise the Lord I want to ascribe goodness unto the Lord I want to thank him because he has done so much good things for me. Um, on Wednesday, the 9th of October, is my anniversary at my place of work. I will make 12 years there. I want to thank him because God changed the course of my career. I read biochemistry, and in short, they were begging me to come and work in the fridges. And God has enabled me to perform. He helped me. He, he did everything for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Alright, so this testimony is actually long overdue, but I just want to thank God for the successful completion of my program here at OAU. So, the thing is that, you know, one thing that was constant through my study was just God's faithfulness. So there were ups and downs. You know, there were things that like, things didn't really go well, but God was faithful. God really came through for me. So I just want to really appreciate his name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. And the pastor quoted that Psalm 92 verses 1 and 2, and I want to use it to sing. It is good to praise the Lord. It is good to gaze upon His majesty. 
to proclaim his love in the morning and his faithfulness at night. Oh, it is good to worship and praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the living God for a victory he gave to me and my siblings in a couple of weeks now. Our dad fell in his own room and he broke his hips, uh, his left hip. Uh, initially, we went to him, Baba, come to him, let us do extra and all those. I said, it's a minor thing. He got one malam, was rubbing it for him, rubbing it for him. He didn't, didn't get it for about two weeks. At 34, eventually, you know, the pain became more and he sent to us that he would like to do the extra. We brought him here and the extra showed us that the hip is broken. So there was that hip replacement surgery. I want to thank God because God helped us during this process. God made provision because, it's, you know, the spending was a lot. But God made provision. Then in the course of the uh, medication, you know, we had to order for prosthesis from Lagos. Lagos or Ibadan. You know, the, 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 the orthopedic people told us, gave us a number, who to call, and all those stuff. So, they didn't know exact size. They, they, they said until they open him up, they will now know the exact size. So, we ordered for three, and each of them was 75,000. Then, also, the bone cement, 75,000. So, four things. At 300,000, we need just one thing. And, you, and they said that hey, when they are finished the operation, they will restore the money to us. Say, hey, this Nigeria, God have mercy. But we just had to pay. So we paid 300000 and they brought those materials. Eventually, you used just one prosthesis, and they didn't even use this bone cement. So the people had to return like two to 5000 to rob. But we thank God that under 24 hours, the money was returned. And we bless the Lord that God is, Baba, Baba is now at home. And God made it very glorious. We thank God for seeing, seeing us through and restoring Baba to earth. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the prayers. I thank God for the support. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. My testimony is surrounded around the promise of God for this commission. When I came into Jesus Center, I noticed something spectacular about this church and it's the way the church acquires properties with ease, with, without struggle. And I kept on holding to that word that God will give me my own property too in this land. And I kept on praying. You see, I was looking for one plot of land to build my house. And my friend, I just took a walk out that, that day and my friend said, there's four plots somewhere. And I said, okay, take me there. Let me go and see it. I was looking for many plots. One. And as I'm standing in front of you, God gave me four. All the glory to God. That is the first side of the testimony. The second side of the testimony is when they called the amount of the land, I even came to meet pastor. Pastor asked me, can you get this? I said, I will, by the grace of God. And what they did for me is you can pay it in installments. They can give you something and it will be a bone in your throat. They gave me this one on a platter of gold that I could do it gradually and gradually and gradually until I could finish it. And today I know God is faithful. That he is a God that answers prayers. There are some things that will come and challenge your faith. Almost everywhere I turn to, and they tell me Nigeria is hard. I will tell them, if Nigeria is hard, people are buying cars now. Nigeria is hard. People are building houses now. Nigeria is hard. Ah, this my friend just bought a land of 80 million now. Ah, ah. My, Nigeria will not be hard for me. Oh. Nigeria will not be hard for you in the name of Jesus. So when people kept on saying all those things, I kept on declaring what God said. That as for me, a thousand may fall at my right hand. 10,000 at my left, it will not come near me. It will not come near my household. And that is the testimony I am sharing today. It is the testimony of the faithfulness of God in this land. My friends are in Lagos. They will call me, Adebo, what are you doing in Ife? You should be in Lagos. I said, this is where God has told me to be. And if not, there's nothing 
you are achieving in that your Lagos that I will not achieve here in the name of Jesus. All the glory to God, all the honor to God, and all the adoration to God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Has God been good to every one of us since January or not? Can we all be on our feet? We are going to shout 10 hallelujahs to appreciate God for his faithfulness in the life of the Tesper and in your own particular life. God has been good to you. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 